Different from wikis, blogs, and the discussion board, the journal tool is used for private communication between the instructor and the student. Students can use the journal to collect observations, thoughts, concerns, notes, progress, and opinions that may not be shared otherwise. Journaling can build rapport between instructors and students, contributing to a positive learning experience. In the educational environment, journals need to be more than just a list of what a student did. The writing experience is used to communicate the thinking process, the how and why for each activity, and thoughts about the activity at its conclusion. Each journal created in a course represents a single topic. Journal assignments typically come in two forms. As a single course journal, where students receive one grade for multiple entries over the span of an entire course, or multiple journals placed in different weeks, each with their own topic and a grade for each of those topics. If there's a journal assignment in your course, it has most likely already been created. But to better understand how a journal works, let's first go over how a journal is set up initially. Go to Course Tools and click on Journals. This page will list all of the journals currently set up in your course. To edit an existing journal, select Edit from the contextual menu. To create a journal, click Create Journal. Now you want to decide if this is a course journal or a journal for a single week. Once you've made that decision, give the journal a name in the Name text box and write specific instructions in the text box area. These instructions will be visible to the students at the top of the journal topic page where they create their entries. Next, choose Yes to make the journal available. Unless you want to limit the availability of the journal to a specific time frame, then go to Journal Date and Time Restrictions. You can decide how you want all of the entries in this journal indexed by selecting Monthly or Weekly. Because our courses are generally eight weeks, it's better to index them by week. To allow students to edit and delete entries and comments, check these boxes located under Journal Settings. If you'd like to make it so the journals are public instead of private, check this box. However, journals are better left as private communication between student and instructor. If you want a journal type assignment that is public, consider creating a blog instead. In grade settings, you will decide whether the journal should be graded or not. To enable grading, click Grade Points Possible under Grade Settings and type in the amount of points this journal will be worth. If this is a course journal, the grade will be for multiple entries. If it's a single weekly journal, the grade will be for only one entry. Then decide when Needs Grading status should be assigned. For example, if this is a course journal requiring an entry for each week of the course, consider changing it to display Needs Grading after eight entries. Otherwise, just leave it at one. Assign a due date and a rubric under Grade Settings. When done, click Submit. A student accesses a journal by clicking on Tools and then Journals. To make the links to journals more accessible, links to the journals can be added to the course menu, or they can be added to a specific weekly content area. To add a link to a content area, click on Tools in the action bar, then Journals. Note that you can either add a link to the journals page that lists all of the journals or link to a specific journal. The latter is better for accessing a weekly journal. Note that you can also create a new journal by clicking on Create New Journal. Select the journal you want to link to and click Next. In the page that follows, the name of the journal populates in the Link Name text box area. You can add a description for the journal link in the text box below the link name. This is typically the same as the journal instructions you created earlier. Review the availability options, and when you're done, click Submit. Your journal link is added to the bottom of the content area. To comment on or grade journal entries, access the journal from Needs Grading, the Full Grade Center, or by clicking on Journals under Course Tools. From the Journals page, the number of entries and new entries is indicated under the Entries column. Click on the name of the journal you wish to grade. Click the drop-down on the right to access all course members who have made entries in this journal. Click the drop-down again to view all course members even if they have not made any entries. Click a user's name with a number. The user's journal entry or entries open in the content frame. To comment on a journal entry, click the Comment button at the bottom of an entry. Type your comment in the space provided and click Add. Type a point total in the grade box. If there is a rubric associated with this graded journal, expand to complete the rubric. To edit an existing grade, 
click in the grade box and change the grade. Optionally, type feedback for the students here. In the Add Notes section, make notes that appear only to you. The icon for Click to Open Full Content Editor gives you access to all the content editor functions. Click Submit to add the grade, feedback, and grading notes to My Grades and the Grade Center.